Now to Kiambu County, where Governor Ferdinand Waititu is under fire yet again amid multiple investigations. The governor has been given until Monday to present to the Kenya Revenue Authority information on alleged evasion of tax running into the millions. On the second front, his deputy, Dr. James Nyoro, who is the acting governor, is calling on auditors to probe alleged irregular award of 3.1 billion shillings worth of road contracts. Stephen Latour with more. With Kiambu Deputy Governor James Nyoro barely six weeks in governor's office, his bid to reorganize the executive is underway and at full throttle. Nyoro on a quest to unearth what he terms as unprocedural financial handling of county matters. For instance, Nyoro claims 11 road contracts were awarded in this financial year at a cost of 3.1 billion shillings. The DG says 11 companies were contracted, but the money was never budgeted for and now contractors are on Nyoro's neck for payments. How was it awarded without an appropriate budget? Because those are those are simple requirements. You don't give what you don't have. This year, Kiambu County received a 538 million shillings grant exclusively for health. But according to the papers presented to auditors, the Waititu office used only 105 million shillings, with the remaining 433 million shillings unaccounted for. Out of the 105 million shillings, 60 million shillings was channeled to Kiambu Hospital. 45 million shillings wired to thicker level five hospital with Gatundu Hospital getting nothing. We collected about 900 million from the hospitals, from patients. Only 450 million was returned as FIF, as Facility Improvement Facility, to the hospitals. The balance 450, we don't know where it is. With the World Bank auditors expected in Kiambu from Monday, Waititu's headache is in the Kenya Devolution Support Program grants from the global leader. According to his deputy governor, out of the 300 million shillings received, only 150 million shillings was used, with the rest channeled to recurrent expenditure contrary to regulations. Nyoro now wants the law amended to allow acting governor's capacity to hire and fire employees. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.